Hello everyone, how are you doing today? You are all welcome to my channel, Apostle Paul Taiwo YouTube channel, to my recent subscribers I want to say a very big thank you, and to those that have been here all along, God bless you. And if this is your first time on this channel, I want to say a very big welcome and thank you for tuning into my video today. Kindly endeavor to click the subscription button and also the notification icon so that you can be notified whenever I dropped a new video or come up for prayers. This video you are about to listen to I believe will bless your heart, and help you to come into repentance, and also strengthen your bond with God and with His Holy Spirit in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. Endeavor to like this video, share it to all your friends, contacts and loved ones, God bless you. These holy churches are linked to the Spirit through the teaching of the truth that the shepherds minister. The brothers spoke the same spiritual language and are united in love, truth, and holiness. The Holy Spirit communicated spiritually with these churches. These churches that live in the direction of the Holy Spirit will never be defeated. I have seen other churches joining these holy churches. The churches that are fallen and are full of demons are living in the lie. Their pastors repented and joined with the holy churches because they believed in the gospel of the truth that the saints preached. A powerful anointing came out of the holy churches and ran toward the other churches that actually joined them. The Holy Spirit distributed its anointing in other ministries that believed the truth. I saw in the vision a people sanctified and united in love. And a cord resembling an electric cord descended into the church and connected the church to the throne of Jesus. This spiritual connection is like an alliance between the groom and the bride. Only the wedding ring can be undone if the bride no longer wants the engagement. I did not see the face of the Holy Spirit, just a bright and full body of light. I believe that its splendor is greater than the sun. And in the vision, that splendor got less bright so I would understand his work and not go blind. The Holy Spirit is spiritual intermediary interceded for the holy churches that do not know how to pray right. All his effort is to make the bride come closer to Jesus. He linked the holy churches to heaven by liberating, purifying, and sanctifying the people. The Holy Spirit did all the work of preparing the bride and leaving her ready. He also baptized, healed the saints, and distributed gifts so those faithful servants could do the same works of Jesus. Churches that have the same doctrine of Christ are attached to it. These churches were measured by angels and have the same width and length. The churches had the right measures which are the standard of God. I had another vision of some holy ministries moving away from the gospel. And the more they departed from the truth, the more the Holy Spirit departed from them. His presence grew weaker and weaker until he disappeared, and the people no longer felt the presence of the Holy Spirit. They were without spiritual lives and died spiritually. I could see great darkness descending upon the roof of that church. One of the members felt the absence of the Holy Spirit and cried out to God. He regretted and suddenly a kind of a shiny wire came down from the sky and gave him strength. The Holy Spirit approached him again and through his life, the church was awakened. He revived that flock that returned to the first love and gave up sin. Seals were placed on the forehead of those peoples being once again God's property. False Prophets Channels of Demonic Blessings I had a vision of a false prophet. He prophesied blessings in the name of Jesus. People believed with faith in the lying word that came out of this man's mouth. These people received material blessings not from God but from demons. The legions of the air descended with the requests of each person who believed the words of the false prophet. People believed in what Jesus did not promise, but in what the false prophet promised by the name of a God he does not know. The blessings that the demons of the air have delivered are meant to affirm that the false prophet is from God and all that he asks for in the name of Jesus happens in the selfsame hour. The purpose of demons is to hold those souls in the fold of the false prophet. That's why signs, wonders, and financial blessings were happening on the spot. By doing this the flock gets stuck in the fold of deceit until the members die and go to hell. And so the souls remain in spiritual blindness and the truth remains hidden from their ears. I had a vision of an army of demons throwing darts at the churches. The target is the mind of the Christians. The thoughts of the saints were not penetrated. The thumb-sized demons tried to possess their minds, but they could not get access to the heads of those who live in holiness. 
they could only gain access to impure Christians whose minds are possessed by immoral thoughts. Spirits of infirmities due to abominations at home. Other Christians were hit by darts of infirmity for having abominations in their homes. Demons only live in their homes if it is lawful for them to destroy a family. So throw away objects or things that lure demons into your home. The stone that makes you stumble on this narrow path will cause you to lose your way to salvation. Live a holy life and Satan cannot steal your salvation if you are faithful to the end. No salvation without church. For those who are not yet congregating in the house of prayer, I mean that there is no salvation without the body of Christ. You will not be saved unless you are in communion with the church. You will not inherit eternal life unless you are united with the other brothers. The word of God says where two or three of you are gathered together, Jesus will be there. God wants to see the church united and congregating together. Arrogant people say they are the temple of the Holy Spirit and they do not need the house of prayer to worship God. In heaven, there is a white temple of worship to God. These people who do not like to unite with other Christians to worship God preach disunity and dismemberment of the body of Christ. They say they do not need prayer houses and live an empty life in their homes, where they do not do homemade worship or invite Christians to pray. Financial Losses I had a vision of the demons touching the material area of a brother making him suffer great financial loss, but Jesus shamed this demon and restored all that he lost. Jesus is faithful when a servant does not deny his name in difficult times. If Jesus allowed the demons to touch the financial life, it means that he has a greater blessing to deliver. I had a vision of many angels descending with bright pebbles in their hands. A voice said, it is the blessings of the saints, every stone of it. There is no reason to deviate from the holy path because of ownership of land or material possessions. This wealth is only fleeting and does not follow you to the afterlife when death strikes. The matter is on earth, but your soul will go to eternity. Jesus has much more to give you than a concrete building in the earth or metals that rust. Everything on this earth deteriorates, but what is eternal is kept for you in heaven. The more you cling to earthly things, the more spiritual thorns will hinder your growth in grace. Praying for material things. How many of you have been praying for material things? Your hearts are bound in that which will perish. Jesus has a great love for your soul and does not want to give you what will trap your heart. This can mean your spiritual death. Many have not yet received their blessings because there is a concern of Jesus regarding the delivery of blessing. His love for souls and salvation is more important than anything in this world. I saw in the vision the demons confiscating the assets of the Christians and Jesus allowed them to do so to wake up the Christians. This will make them not give a higher value to their possessions by setting the work of Jesus aside. At this moment when I report the visions, many knees bowed down before Jesus and cried out for the loss of their material goods, but they do not cry out for the awakening and holiness, praying with heavenly language. I had another vision of those who sincerely pray. The demons tried to interfere their prayers by throwing thoughts of worry into their minds, but they did not succeed. The prayers of the saints who were awake and rose to heaven, even though the distance between heaven and earth is great. I had a vision of a Christian praying. He prayed in heavenly language lest the demons should come to understand. The legions were restless, not knowing what he prayed to God. They could not devise their plans to prevent requests for prayers. The demons saw the prayers rising like a fireball, but did not know what was said in prayer. They tried to capture the fireball to find out the prayer requests and when they caught the fireball they could not decipher the celestial message written on it. And so they could not know what the saints said to be able to impede their prayers. The fireball escaped the wars of the principality and ascended to heaven entering the celestial mansions. An angel came down from heaven to give the blessing to the man of God. An army of demons made a barrier in the air so the angel could not come down to deliver the blessing. I watched as a gigantic fireball descended from the sky and hit that barrier of demons throwing everyone on the ground. Angel of Blessings I will reveal the ministry of the angels on earth. I saw when the angel came down with the blessing and another angel came down behind giving cover so that the angel arrives at the certain destination that is the house of a man of God. This angel stood on the roof of the house giving cover and the other angel delivered the blessing personally to the man of God. The same thing that happened to that servant happened to me. 
One angel came down in answer to my prayer and the other angel with a sword in hand floated over my house, giving cover to the angel of blessing. The angel of blessing delivered a small box that shone in my hands that it would be something special that would happen to me. My wife did not see the box, only the one with the spiritual vision can see this thing happening. If you live a holy life you can be sure that the angel will descend into your home to deliver your blessing. Angels are well organized. Jesus said, Servant, do not be surprised, there is a certain time for the distribution of blessings for each saint. I also had a vision with the angels making the demons use the rich people to deliver the financial blessings to the faithful servants in need. I also saw a gathering of angels beside the servants of God shielding them from the forces of evil. A class of powerful and well-organized angels fought in defense of the saints and the interest in the work of God. Angels minister to new converts too. Even the new converts who have not yet been trained to put on the armor of God, just because they gave their lives to Jesus received angelic assistance. Groups of angels descended to defend the causes of these new converts. They had neither the strength to fight nor the ability to win the war because they were new converts. The sky opened and the spiritual resource came down to help them. Militias of angels descended and punished those demons who tried to destroy the converts from the eyes of God. These new converts had their names written in the golden book that is the book of life. They are the citizens of heaven who are in transient work on earth. They have the right of inheritance and the guarantee of salvation by the witness of lives they give. Angels help in works in transition. In another vision, I saw the angels descending from heaven to receive the souls of some saints who died and leading them to their heavenly homes. And the angels transferred the work of those who had died to others who are alive. Responsibility was passed on to others to continue to exercise the function of those who passed away and so the work did not stop. The ministerial functions of all those who died were transferred to other Christians. And those who are preparing in prayer will receive spiritual empowerment to do the work of those who have died. The work of God is active. When one dies, God raises another to continue the work. The angels are working for your ministry and the Holy Spirit is with you. God protects where the servants tread their feet. He has an accompanying war angel on his walks. Everything you do on earth for God is not in vain. There is an angel who records all your efforts in the work that will be rewarded as an award. I saw angels descending from heaven to deliver the blessings to the saints. Other angels accompanying these angels wrote down in a book making a record that those servants have received the blessings. False blessings lead to hell. And in churches where false pastors prophesy blessings and people receive them, the angels do not note those blessings because they are not from God. On the day of judgment, the people who lived in sin and believed in these false ministries will say, I lost my salvation because you filled me with blessings, gave my car, house, and money in that church. All this materialism trapped my heart and led me to hell. The Lord Jesus will say, I did not give you those material blessings that condemned your soul. And the angel will show the book of blessing proving that he did not record those blessings in the book and will call a demon who will show another book. And in that gloomy book will be recorded those blessings that people have asked for, blessings that have led them to the perdition of their souls. In the book of blessings, only the names of those who have received blessings from God are recorded. When Jesus speaks, he keeps his word. When a man speaks by lying on his name to offer blessings, Jesus does not fulfill that and the demons take advantage to fulfill those desires. Satan also gives money, employment and all that people desire, as long as they believe in lying prophecies that the false prophet who has contributed so much to his kingdom is not ashamed especially for those people who have not yet converted and their hearts are in materialism. These people go to church to seek blessings and not to seek God. The demons take advantage of the desires that are in their hearts to carry out the requests. Demons cannot deliver material or spiritual blessings to the saints. God knows how to identify those that are His. The Holy Spirit does not let the devils give their gifts to the saints. When a Christian prays to God for a blessing the demons have no right to deliver the blessing that the Christian has asked for. What these devils can do is act indirectly by using people to offer something or a blessing to keep the Christian from God. The angels who record the blessings with the other angels who distribute them are very useful in serving the people of God. 
they serve the church and the people of God who work for souls. And when the church is in danger the angels of war come to their aid. Powerful archangels are at the service of the church. I saw one of them ruling a legion of angels. All of them perform their work on earth. They follow the norms of heaven with love, while God's people have difficulty following doctrine and when they do, they do not do it out of love. Some of these angels are of war and act within the divine laws obeying all of them. They fulfill divine decrees and make prophecies come to pass. They work day and night for the purposes of God. They are always in activities descending on earth. I saw all this in vision. When a church is attacked by darts of laziness and slumber by demons causing them not to do the work of God, I saw the lawmaking angels descending from heaven. They warred against the demons and made them all run away. They have nullified the evil deeds of destruction against the faithful servants. All the evil done to harm the saints was undone. Angels work on earth to maintain order in the spiritual world that demons try to destroy. They benefit the church of Jesus. The angels have guarded the bride and prevented the demons from doing whatever they want with the saints. They have scrapped snares and cut snares of death in the spirit world. They have helped the pastors to take care of holy doctrine. They have kept the saints from having their spiritual lives contaminated. They have warned the saints not to fall into the error of sex. This is true of those who do not defile themselves and strive not to fall into sin. Angels protect the saints from the danger of death like accidents and murders. Those who choose the path of sin and made the decision to continue in this life lose their angelic protection. All the efforts that the angels do are to guard the lives of the saints and preserve their spiritual integrity. I saw in the vision the angels with their swords destroying the walls of the hindrance that hinder the work of God. They did not allow the demons to destroy the holy churches. Many of these demons want to get rid of churches that preach the truth. There are angels who trap some demons, leaving them apprehended not to cause disorder in the holy work. As the church prays, more angels fight for it. They repress all evil activities against the holy bride, defending all that is holy. These war angels specialize in battles. All this I saw in the vision of the dawn were an hour of insight into the ministry of the angels here on earth. I have also seen the guardian angels of the bride who may be called angels of protection. Each saint is monitored by a protective angel who accompanies him giving protection. They are sensitive to sin equal to the Holy Spirit. Just commit a sin and your protective angel moves away from you and the demons approach you. If the Christian repents of his sins the angel of security returns to guard his house. The angel of protection watches over the demons that are wrapping the house of the servants of God. The angel of safety does not prevent the demon from entering the home, as long as he fulfills the limits as far as he can go. The devil can only destroy if there is legality. He can enter the home and test the Christian's faith, until it causes temptation, less touching the soul. The angel also allows them to throw darts. When the Christian is spiritually strong, the angel of safety lets him battle alone against the demons. The protective angel only intervenes if the servant fails to win the war. Even when I pray at night, sometimes devils attack me with their darts, which when they get close to me fall to the ground because of the anointing. I manage to win a war in prayer by fighting a battle with two demons that attack me at dawn. I just pointed the finger at the demons and fire went out and burnt them. Until they step back and disappear. My guardian angel did nothing and watched. He did not intervene because he saw that I was winning. If it was a few years ago surely the angel would have been helping me because of my weakness. The new converts still do not have the authority and also the old Christians who do not have intimacy with God and do not pray. As long as you are obedient you will be protected. But the Christian who lets sin and opens up legality and the protective angel does not help in this war either. Sin opens up the legal grounds for the demons in the spirit world. They gain the right to defeat the Christian who has sinned and will destroy his home. This was the condition that God himself gave to the demons. And they will only have the strength to act through sin. This has been the reason for the defeat of many Christians who give up the work and go to the world to live in sin. They blame God for their failures and no longer want to serve him. They themselves open up these legalities to have their lives destroyed. The Christian who continues in the work and yet does not leave the sin, this one has no anointing and no spiritual weapon enough to win the war. 
his spiritual authority is taken away, so the demons are not afraid of him. If a Christian is authentic and pleases God so much, an angel signs his name on a golden book as true Christians. These kinds of Christians are like rare jewels. The angels take responsibility for each of them, as long as they are faithful. When we do our part, God makes you his own. I had a vision of an angel descending on a false church. Within this church was a very serious servant of God who did not participate in sin. Because of her, the angel descended into the nest of Satan. The angel said that God heeded her prayer and he came to deliver her blessing. Today she does not congregate anymore in this church, for the Holy Spirit has taken her from that place and has revealed that her place is not there. He said, get out of where you teach the lie before you confuse your mind. I also had a vision with millions of angels who oversee true and false churches. Whatever happened in the house of good or bad prayer, they recorded in their books. I could see an angel inside a false church registering all the abominations that were happening in the services and even the lies the pastor said in the name of God. And the holy Christians who were financially forsaken by the church were supported by the angels who stood by them using ungodly people to help them in their needs. Children who live in holiness renounce drawings, games, and rebellions against their parents and customs of the world. Little devils could not touch these children because they did not find any legality to do so. The angels protected these children who please God. Children who do not speak corrupt words utters the perfect praises to God. New converts who forsake sin and begin to live in holiness are also protected by angels. While Hollywood advertises to Batman and Superman promoting these demons, but in reality who are the heroes is every angel who works on this earth for the work of God to grow. The militias of angels battle against the demons to deliver the saints. They fight for the poor of spirits, care for the humble, and protect the little ones. We are not alone in this war church, the angels are with us. The church does not need to fight against the persecutors by entering into a verbal confrontation with them. The Lord Jesus in his justice will fight against the legions of demons that instigate these persecutors. Angels compel demons to use businessmen to employ Christians, even against their will, and demons acquiesce to such angelic demands. Angels fight for the interests of the church, while the church defends the cause of the gospel. That is why the Holy Church is respected as a lawful bride because of her obedience. The purpose of the church is salvation, so live in unity and harmony. Seeing how angels work on earth, it encourages me to want to work harder for God. Angels work for God as servants. Some of you do not want to be a servant and do not want to do the works of God. You do not want to serve God and you are giving orders to God to fulfill your whims, thinking that he has to obey your requests. Learn to be submissive like angels. A worker who joins me asked me why I do not like the internet and appear in the media or channels. I told him that I have divine orders not to make recordings and I have to obey the voice of God, not that it is sin for me to record videos, but I have to obey the voice of God and only report my visions in writing. You who accompany my visions and want to meet me in person, know that I can visit your church at any time by surprise. For you who want me to visit your church, do not be sad if I do not go, for I am only a man and I cannot be in all the churches at the same time. But through these visions that you are hearing it is as if I were there personally, for the same Holy Spirit that is in my life will visit all. I go where the Holy Spirit sends me, it is not through human invitations to satisfy the desires of pastors who want to see their churches full. I do not accept invitations to preach for offerings as well. In the name of Jesus, I give these visions to the church. Only here, God allowed me to report. Stay in the peace of Jesus Church. Amen. This testimony will continue in the next episode, God bless you all. Grace be with you all that have Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, Amen. Bye for now. Hello everyone thank you for watching our video for today, I trust it blesses your heart. Endeavor to like this video and share it to your loved ones, I pray the grace of the living God will continue to rest upon you and upon everything that pertains to you in the name of Jesus, Amen. If you have any question or comments kindly drop them in the comment section, God bless you. See you in our next video and have a lovely day, bye for now.